This is Tim Bryce with my column titled 2018 Government Report Card. As 2018 comes to a close, I thought I would grade how our federal government did this past year and ask if we truly got our money's worth. First, let's look at the 115th Congress. Well, I give a grade of D. They blew it due to weak leadership. Should have done much, much more. The Brett Kavanaugh hearing was an embarrassing political nightmare we didn't need. Congress let the country down on immigration reform, health care, and financial responsibility. Then again, what's new? Now it's the Democrats' turn to show their incompetence. As Will Rogers said, quote, We all joke about Congress, but we can't improve on them. Have you noticed that no matter who we elect, he is just as bad as the one he replaces? End quote. Next, we have the president, who I give a grade of A. He did great considering he had to work under extreme pressure from an incompetent Congress, a resistance movement delaying his every move, and a news media bent on his destruction. Mr. Trump proved to be a worthy adversary to push back against his detractors, something few presidents knew how to do. The Mueller investigation proved itself to be a witch hunt and that we were investigating the wrong people. President Trump persevered and made inroads in appointing judges, a Supreme Court justice, and new appointments for his administration, revising trade agreements and stoking the economy, and keeping his campaign promises, something he received little credit for. Next, we have the Supreme Court, who I gave a grade of A. Finally, back to a full court, but remains somewhat partisan. I guess it always will be. They ruled on such things as the presidential travel ban, immigration, internet sales taxes, voting rights, gay rights and religion, sports betting, and more. Nothing earth-shattering, but they did their job without much fanfare. Next, we have the news media, who I gave a grade of F, as in fake news. The Fourth Estate has let the American people down due to their partisanship and hatred of the president. Americans no longer trust the press and desperately seek information from other sources, including social media. As in 2016, the political polls again let us down and were incapable of predicting accurate results. For those concerned with collusion, start with a relationship between the news media and polls. Happy New Year, and let us hope 2019 is better. Frankly, I'm not holding my breath as we will likely experience two years of congressional gridlock as the Democrats continue to resist the president. God only knows when the government will reopen. Bottom line, no, I do not believe the country got its money's worth from the government this year. Our political polarity is preventing us from achieving greatness. The time is rapidly approaching when we must morally decide what interpretation of America is proper, left or right. Again, quoting Will Rogers, Last year, we said things can't go on like this, and they didn't. They got worse. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbrice.com.